Hello, my name is Robert Mitchell, and today Electric Pages is here in Nuremberg in Bedding World 2024, and we are at the Infineon stand, and I am joined by Omar from Infineon. How's it going? Fantastic. Now, just before we dive into what's going on here, could you just quickly tell the audience who you are and what you do at Infineon? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Omar Cruz. I'm the product manager for PSOC Edge, our latest, greatest, and newest microcontroller of part of the family of PSOC. So, happy to introduce you to what we have here, the demo, and not only the demo, but also the capabilities of our microcontroller. Fantastic. So what is actually going on here? Actually, we have a video game. We, we, we wanted to make it interactive. We wanted to make it fun. And yeah. what we have here is a video game that relies on our microcontroller. So we have a sensor, you know, this is a radar sensor that detects motion, right? And all the video game is based on the information that gets from, the, from this radar. It goes into our microcontroller. All the processing, all the machine learning capabilities that has been done around gesture detection, and gesture motion, and all of that, it's been done thanks to our Cortex M55 with Ethos U55. And on top of that, we also have a graphics interface. We have a graphics processing unit in, in it. And all these graphics, these cool graphics, are coming from the microcontroller as well. Oh, you're really packing it all into that one chip, aren't you? Everything integrated into one chip. So, so, so this sensor here, is, is that a millimeter wave radar detector? Is that a... That's a 60-year radar sensor. Uh, oh, yes, yes, millimeter, yes, our, yes, you yes. Know, from our brothers. And, uh, and that's going to be ship. used to take motion. Exactly. exactly. You exactly. to control the, the ship. Exactly. exactly, that's what it does. Like, we just crashed now, but, you know, <laughs> we, can, we can restart and, and go. So, so I'm taking it, this here is actually... It is actually, like, like yeah. if you look into, into the back of it, <laughs> This is the actual uh, microcontroller. You can see it here. This is piece of Edge E84. That's, that's it. There, right? That's, that's yeah. it. That's it. We have what we call a system of module that it's like hooked into our baseboard. And the baseboard uh, has all the different interfaces that we have supported yeah. in our microcontroller. So in this one chip, it's actually a system on It's a system on chip. Um, so with the, these are the specs here are we looking at. Yeah, right. So exactly. we've got ourselves the ARM Vortex M5, we've got ourselves graphics, radar gestures. Oh, okay, so the radar gestures from this thing are being interpreted by the machine learning. Yes, exactly. So is that a, is that a hardware accelerator or is that software? We do hardware? have a hardware accelerator on it, so perhaps, you know, a better notion is this is the actual block diagram of the piece of SG84. Yeah. So we have a general purpose processor, which is Cortex M55, with ETHOS U55, which is a neural processing unit, hardware accelerator, taking care of all the machine learning AI operations that are being you know, performed thanks to the data that we get from, from, from the radar. So, so this here, if you, is this like a development board you develop yourself? Yes, this is actually right. our evaluation kit that we have right. an opinion. And, and what is it the customer purchase? But is this web is it, So this, this module, they can actually use their own science. They can use it in their own design. That's the reason why we have come up with a teeny tiny, you know, form factor yeah. as this one. But uh, if you have want to leverage the whole set of integration that we have in our piece of edge, yeah. we have a baseboard as well. I see. So, right, I got it. You know, and we have, yeah. as you can see here, the USBs. We have the micro bus. We yeah. have the Arduino headers, and we have all the pinout that goes from our chip into the baseboard as well. We have uh, speakers. We have microphones. Analog and digital microphones, so a lot of integration happening with the basement. Now, I saw something on one of these slides uh, that caught my eye, and it was about security. No, no. Now, obviously, security is extremely important yes. in embedded design. Yeah, yeah. So, can you tell me how Infineon is, is kind of like uh, approaching that issue? Yes, we actually have a pretty robust security. And the reason behind that is because we have a secure enclave. So, right. in this secure enclave, we yeah. have different mechanisms to add security. We have uh, true random number generators, we have secure boots. We have uh, crypto acceleration, we have security bug, we have tamper protection. So all these different mechanisms that will allow the end user to rely on have been implemented from the scratch, from the robust security point of view, thanks to our security equipment. Fantastic. So I've got one more question about this setup here. For engineers who are watching this video, if they want to get involved with this uh, system on chip, what would you recommend that they do? The best, the best thing that you can do now is go to infineon.com slash VSOC Edge. You'll find more information. Yep. We'll continue to update it. Uh, we are moving along great. This is a brand new microcontroller, but it's looking in really good shape. 
and in the next couple of weeks, months, they're going to have more information and the ability to uh, order the boards and, you know, get talk you, to Basically, us. get yourself one of these dev kits. Yeah, in, in a couple of months, we'll make all these kits available for, for everybody. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, thank yeah. you ever so much for taking the time yesterday. Thank you. Thank you ever so much.